The Mobile County Public Schools presents Homeroom. Hi, and welcome to Homeroom, where we introduce you to the students and the educators who make Mobile County Public Schools the best schools in the state of Alabama. I'm very proud to announce that this year we have seven National Merit finalists in our schools. So joining me now from Baker High School is Reagan Baggett and Henry Bilinowski. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. It's pretty cool, right? So. And so we were just looking this up because I was curious. So out of all of the test takers in the state of Alabama, fewer than 1% are named National Merit finalists. And you did it. So what's it like, Henry? Tell us, did, did you work hard? Uh, yes, ma'am. I actually went and got a, a tutor um, uh -huh. for ACT and PSAT and SAT technically too, but I never took the SAT. And they were really helpful. The, uh, mm -hmm. the Holbrooks, if they're watching this, I hope they are. The Holbrooks, <laughs> they're the best tutors I've ever had. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of looking to take after them, start mm -hmm. my own thing because of them. And they helped me a lot. For You're going to help other students do the same thing? <laughs> I hope so, yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And Reagan, what about you? You had to work hard for this as well. Yes, ma'am. I, I worked hard in a different way than him, though. I didn't get any tutors or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I it was through my AP classes. I mm -hmm. just was learning that material, and so that material led into these tests. And so yeah. it was because I was working hard at school that I did well. And that's one thing Baker is known for is you have a lot of advanced placement courses. I think last time I checked, it was like 24 different AP courses, and you're the AP capstone mm -hmm. school. So how do you feel about these AP courses, these college level? Do you feel like it's prepared you? I, I'm big advocate for the AP classes um, and I took the AP Research Academy at Baker and that that Academy is fantastic uh, it taught me great writing skills public speaking skills uh, aside from that I took AP Chem AP Physics they're good AP Stats all of them pretty much that they, they teach you how to critically think I love that you're excited about AP Chemistry <laughs> I do not like chemistry so what was your favorite AP course it might, be about, it might be my current one. What's We're both that? in the AP Calculus, the BC class, uh -huh. just mm -hmm. because Ms. Armstrong is great. But AP Chem was great, too, because Ms. Stevens is, again, a fantastic teacher. All of our teachers are. So what's fun about Calculus? Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. <laughs> uh, so you look at a function, and it looks rough in its shape, and it's hard to estimate what a certain value might be, and you can estimate that value, and then you can calculate the area of complex shapes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It makes it really interesting. And it's fun. So I have two boys, and they asked me the other day, what, what is math going to do for you in the future? But do you want to go into math? Do you like math? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? My, my f I'm planning on majoring in physics. And okay. I was going to do a, a double major in math, but I think, honestly, I might uh, make that double major computer science now. That's awesome. That's awesome. And what about you, Reagan? What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to go into chemical engineering, and mm -hmm. then I plan on getting my master's in biomedical engineering as well. So mm -hmm. I'll be using the math behind the scenes of the chemistry. So. Yeah. So I'm going to go home and tell my boys you can use math. Right. Yes, and so you're both heading to college with some scholarships. Tell us where you're going. Uh, the University of Alabama. Roll Tide. Yes, ma'am. And, and I'm going to Auburn. Okay. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> well, congratulations for all your hard work. We're looking forward to the success that you're going to have at Auburn and at Alabama, and we hope you'll come back and tell us about all your successes That's and awesome. how you used math and science and <laughs> excelled in your career. Right? Okay. Yes, well, congratulations. We're going to break for Homeroom, and when we come back, we're going to talk to some more of our National Merit finalists, so stay tuned for Homeroom. High school students, are you looking for a way to become a better leader? Then the Junior Officers Training Corps may be what you're seeking. If you would like to develop self-reliance, learn ways to be more responsible, and improve your communication skills, you can do that and more when you register for the Junior Officers Training Corps. The JROTC program is available to all high school students in Mobile County. JROTC, we build a better you. Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today we're talking to some of our National Merit finalists. Now these are students who scored in the top 1% of all students in the state of Alabama. They're going places in life. We're proud to have them here in Mobile County. We have seven total. But joining me now from Davidson High School, I have Stan Blavas and Shahir Latif. So welcome. So congratulations, that's pretty cool. I bet your parents are proud. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. So what's it like getting the, the notification that you're a National Merit finalist? Is that something you were striving toward? 
It's, yes, for me it was um, it was exciting. Uh, I had I had worked and studied a little bit for the test, and knowing that it's it's helpful for for colleges and, and um, the world beyond, it's it's helpful, and it's exciting to get that notification. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Shahir, yeah. what about you? Yeah, it was great to see that you know the work we put in paid off, and um, you know we're starting to get results. Yeah, because you're going to some pretty cool colleges. Yep. Shahir, tell us where you're going. I'm going to Georgia Tech, and I'm planning to major in computer engineering. Awesome. And then what about you, Stan? I'm going to Harvard University, and I'm planning to study government or social science or something like that. Awesome. That's more up my alley than <laughs> all this computer science, math, and stuff. So tell us, so um, did Davidson prepare you for this? Because you're both in the IB program, so that's a very s hard program to be a part of. But obviously you're successful, so did it prepare you? Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I would say it did, just in terms of coursework and, and writing, learning how to sort of write and, and do work and get accustomed to sort of the level of work that maybe you experience in college. It's, it's helpful, mm -hmm. um, and I think I learned a lot. Good. And what about you? Yeah, I also think Davidson prepared me, especially like the way I prepared is by practice, and Davidson allowed me to take the practice piece at in ninth grade and tenth grade before the actual one in eleventh grade. Mm -hmm. So I think that was really crucial to me. Right, and so robotics, I know you go to all these state competitions and national competitions. Yes, you do work with Mr. Fletcher? Yep. What's that like creating the robot and watching it succeed? It's really cool because we get to use all these fancy machines and stuff and build a really complex robot from scratch. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're doing well in the regional competitions. I'm always amazed when I go there to see that you guys created this and it has to do the tasks. And, and perform it in a timely manner, and, and, and it's so, yeah. so cool what you do. So advice for your fellow students, if you're in middle school or trying to come up and you want to be a National Merit finalist, what should they do? Um, for me, it was just a lot of, I mean, focus on classwork, and, and once it gets time to take the tests, um, prepare for the tests, but if you focus on classwork and just get, um, get your grades and, and do your homework, I think that, that sets you up really nicely to, to do well on the test. Mm -hmm. Shahir, what advice do you have? Yeah, I think the classwork is going to prepare you well for the material of the test, but then the test itself can be stressful. So that's where the practice comes in. I would say students should take as many practice tests as they're available. And also what I've heard too is the courses that you take help. Don't they like taking the, the harder courses, the AP courses, the, the IB courses, challenging yourself? Yes, you, would you say so? Yes, ma'am, mm -hmm. I think so. I, I don't think, I think they, like Shahir was saying, they showed me all the content that was going to be on the test. I don't mm -hmm. nothing was surprising about yeah. the test, and I think that's important when you're taking it in a stressful environment. You knew the physics, and you know the history, and the grammar, <laughs> yeah, and all that. So, yeah. good job. So, congratulations. We're proud of you. We look forward to hearing what you do at Harvard and at Georgia Tech. So, thank come back and visit you. with us. So yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you. We're going to break for commercial, and when we come back, we're going to hear from some more of our National Merit finalists. So, stay tuned for Homeroom. At Mobile County Public Schools, we believe it starts with us. That's why we offer Signature Academies. Hello, I'm Jordan Clark, and I'm in the Health Service Academy at John L. LaFleur Magnet High School. My future career is to be an obstetrician gynecologist. With this academy, I'm learning firsthand from people already working in the industry. Shadowing them on the job really makes me want to study hard and work harder towards my career goals. Signature Academies are open to all students in Mobile County Public High Schools. Visit mcpss.com. Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today, I'm introducing you to some of our fantastic students in Mobile County Public Schools, starting with our National Merit finalists. We actually have seven throughout the county, so we're very proud of that. Joining us from Davidson, we have Lyndon Birdie and Graham West. Congratulations. We just heard from some of your classmates, um, Stan and Shahir, and I think one interesting thing is you all guys, you guys went to elementary, middle, high school together. Council, yeah. Phillips, and now Davidson. So how cool is it to like travel together all those years and to, to find the success? It's really exciting. Um, Graham and I are the only ones who went to council during kindergarten, uh -huh. um, but we all graduated with Stan and Shahir, and we were all in the accelerated reading program there. And so it's just really interesting that this group has stuck together and formed a successful, a pretty successful group <laughs> as mm. seniors. Yeah. And I think we've picked up like people on the way, people added at Phillips, and mm -hmm. uh, that group has really come into like our connected group of students at, uh, at Davidson. So is there some competition going there, some encouragement, a little bit of both? Um, I think most of us are, you know, on the top 10 track at Davidson and we're uh -huh. all in the IB program. We have a kind of small program of 13, um, but it's people from St. Mary's, um, Clark, like everywhere. So mm -hmm. we're excited to have like 
that small class where we can really learn um, like as a team basically. Yeah. And so what's it been like in high school? Has it flown by? Um, it's every year has felt different um, because we've had like different schedules with COVID and stuff. But um, and that, that has kind of been a challenge to deal with. But I think that um, <coughs> we've had uh, different struggles with different years. Like last year was probably our, maybe our most intense learning year. Uh -huh. This year maybe our most intense year for like exams and stuff. Uh -huh. um, and so that kind of makes it feel different each year. But uh, I still think it's been very good overall. Very intense too, um, because it's obviously it's on the quarter system, and so it's these intense nine-week bursts um, mm -hmm. of kind of trying to learn, and then even trying to recall stuff that we learned what first semester junior year yeah. for these exams, mm -hmm. these cumulative exams. So um, that's been a really interesting learning curve. But I think I think we're going to come out on top on these exams. Hopefully, I, I have a feeling you're both going to do very well, right? And so tell us what are your plans after graduation, Lyndon? Um, I plan to attend Northwestern University. And Excellent major in mechanical choice. engineering. Mechanical engineering, awesome. And then Graham, where are you going? I'm going to the University of Colorado in Boulder, and I'm Fine. going to be majoring in chemical engineering. So beautiful out there. Yes. And so we have some engineer science people. I, I love all that. And so at Davidson, you've been involved in a lot. I know you're on the soccer team, robotics. So yes, do all the extracurriculars help you to find success as well? I think so. Robotics really has taught me how to think. I think it's. Um, the IB program, the EPIC program, lots of the programs and extracurriculars at Davidson teach critical thinking overall. And so that's kind of what has us sitting here as National Merit finalists is um, not only did we learn how to beat the test, we learned how to actually critically think about the tests. Mm -hmm. And Graham, you have a perfect score on the ACT. So does your little brother. Super score, but awesome. Yes. And you're in the band and you just got your Eagle Scout. So tell us I about did. that project. Um, so my Eagle Scout project uh, is something that I've actually had an idea about for a, a, a long time. Uh, it's something that my mom came up with. We noticed that the Mobile Tree Trail was a thing in Mobile where it had like the important markers for different trees. But I also noticed that it was something that wasn't really upkept too well. And it was just kind of signs that were sitting there and you couldn't, you didn't really know what it was if you saw them. Mm -hmm. And so I had the idea of working with the, the tree commission uh, to uh, like make new signs and raise more awareness for this tree trail. And so I raised money and I, uh, I paid for and designed and installed new signs at eight of, our eight of the trees locations. Mm -hmm. um, and the new signs are uh, much more visible. They have like decorative posts instead of uh, smaller posts. And they also have information about the tree. So you can see it and you can learn uh, more about the tree and, then, and more about Mobile um, with that historical connection. That's so cool. So you're going to have a lasting impact on our community with those yes. signs. And Lyndon, I know you're going to have a lasting impact on Davidson with all that you've done there. Any advice for future seniors? Um, I would say for IB, it's, it shouldn't be about stress. It should be about learning. Um, mm -hmm. And the exams, I think learning how to recall and all of that stuff will um, help you for cumulative exams in the future. I know some colleges do that for their finals. And mm -hmm. so I just think it's, um, it's all about college preparedness and we definitely feel prepared for that mm -hmm. experience. Congratulations. You wanna add anything? Um, for future seniors, I would say, don't stress you out too much, especially with exams and stuff. Cause like, you know everything, even mm -hmm. if you don't think you do. So. But, but study. Study, do, do review, yeah. do study, mm -hmm. but be confident that you'll do well. I love that. Be confident. So we got to break for a commercial, and when we come back, we're going to hear from some of our other outstanding students in Mobile County Public Schools. So stay tuned for Homeroom. Part of the experience of going to the Mobile Museum of Art is that it's there for everyone. Art is there to inspire, to give you other perspectives, and to make you think outside of yourself. The museum offers a critical service to the culture of the community. It's providing the opportunity to have eyes open. Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today, I'm introducing you to some of our fabulous students in Mobile County Public Schools. So joining me now from Viger High School, this school that's spirit built. We have students from the Culinary Arts Program, Patience Hawkins and Clayton Williams. So I love the chef attire. You guys are professional chefs, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so tell us, what do you do? I know you, you have Chef Rufin at school who works with you guys. So what do you learn in culinary? 
Uh, we learned a bit of he shows us like knife techniques and how to differently cut things and stuff like that. He just goes through the process of just like simply like the basics of it so we can make better things going on. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think about the culinary? Were y'all always interested in it or is it something that you got to school and realized it was possible? I got to school and just uh, felt like I wanted to start cooking and he showed me new ways I could do it and so I just figured out that's something I want to do and I'll just try to keep inspiring to be a chef. Yeah and so what do you like to cook? Uh, so far I really did enjoy the the armadillo egg that I did make for the competition. I really enjoyed that. An order. armadillo egg? Yes. Like an actual egg from an armadillo? <laughs> no. Okay, what is it? <laughs> the armadillo egg is the it's going to be a pepper filled uh -huh. with cream cheese, uh, normal cheese and seasoning wrapped in uh, breakfast sausage and bacon. Yum. That sounds delicious. You have to come back and make that for us. What's your favorite thing to cook? Um, well, I made a pineapple steak bowl. It's, uh, I think we made you famous for that, didn't we? Yeah. We posted your recipe online and people went crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it was the uh, best thing ever made, really. Uh-huh. It was very, well, I, yeah, it was very good. And I just, uh, it really got me, it really got me places and just won second place for the state competition. So that was really, that was really good for me. That's awesome. Congratulations. And I think that's one cool thing. I know that we have a video because you also placed um, first place for people's choice in your king cake competition. So let's watch that video. Well, I feel great, man. It's a, a great thing for my students. Um, unexpected, especially with it being my first year here. I'm trying to employ everything I can into these kids. So it's really great big for us. When they called me, we it was like a last minute thing. They called us like that Friday. The competition was the following Friday. So I just let a few students know, asked who would be interested in, in being involved. Like five stepped up, three ended up going with me, and we took it home. When he told us the amount and the shared amount of days, we were kind of like, I don't know if we can do this, but the process of it was actually pretty fun, and we had a lot of fun doing it. So I practiced a little bit, because honestly, I've never made a king cake. So I kind of looked up a few recipes, put my own renditions to them, showed it to the students. They did everything. I showed them one time and left them in the kitchen. So they actually did all the cooking. I did very little. And my students, that, that's how good they are. So that looks delicious. Did it taste as delicious as it looked? It definitely did. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I bet you had to do a lot of taste tests. Yes, yes. of course. And I, I love what um, Chef Rupin said, that he had never made one, but y'all kind of tinkered around and came up with this recipe. And so is that part of being a, a great chef, is, is, is kind of perfecting things and trying? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he really lets us experiment it with our own taste and things like that. So that was a really fun part of it. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And then do you learn sometimes from mistakes? Yes, <laughs> definitely. There's definitely, like, the time process as well, having, being able to quicken certain parts of it instead of making it harder. Mm -hmm. that, he really helps with the time. With yeah. It as well. So some actual math and science thrown into it. It's a bit of more like improvise, mm -hmm. uh -huh. it, but also like the time <laughs> period and stuff like during the competition and everything like that. Yeah. And that's a good skill to learn as well. Yes. So what are you doing? So you're graduating. Yes, I am graduating and I'll be going to Mississippi State University off of ROTC scholarships. Awesome. I love our ROTC program. It is so fantastic here. And what are you going to do? You're, you're a junior, so you got to you're going to no. rule the school next year. Uh, I'm going to just see if I can try to go to a culinary school and just keep going to pursue my dream. That's really it. That's fantastic. So congratulations to you both. We look forward from hearing to you, uh, from you later on about your successes. And if you happen to want to come visit with us, you can bring us some king cake yes. or some pineapple steak. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much and congratulations. We're going to break for commercial, and when we come back, we're going to meet some more of our outstanding students in Mobile County Public Schools, so stay tuned for Homeroom. Hey Alexa, tell me about Mobile County Public Schools. With 53,000 students in 90 schools, Mobile County Public Schools equips and empowers college and career-ready graduates. Several MCPSS schools are ranked among Alabama's top 10. Yearly, graduating students earned about $110 million in college scholarships and 10,000 career credentials. 
MCPSS is learning today, leading tomorrow. Does that answer your question? Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today, I am introducing you to some fantastic students in Mobile County Public Schools. We have National Merit Finalist, award-winning culinary arts student, and joining me now from BC Rain High School, a all-around excellent student who I've known since middle school, Jordan Guyton from yes, BC Rain, and his yes, choir teacher, Roderick Fry. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. Yeah, so Jordan, we first met you a few years ago oh. when you spoke to the entire mm. Civic Center full of about 7,000 employees yes, and we knew then that you were going places, right? So yeah. what's it been like for you going, growing up and now being a senior at BC Rain? Well, i tell you uh, one thing. It's definitely a, a blessing to be at BC Rain High School. Um, continuing my career from Dunbar um, was excellent, but Reverend Fry introduced me to BC Rain. Actually, I heard the choir program mm -hmm. uh, sing at our district state core performance assessment mm -hmm. and I knew then that I wanted to um, make BC Rain my home. Right. Yes, ma'am. And so I know you're proud. We've heard Jordan sing. We've heard your choir sing. They are fantastic. So Thank tell you. us what it's like to teach at BC Rain and to teach all your kiddos, including Jordan. Well, it is a pleasure teaching at BC Rain. Uh, we consider ourselves the hidden jewel mm -hmm. on the parkway. And having Jordan in our choir program has been an outstanding experience. Jordan uh, has added so much to the school culture and also uh, to our choir program, and we're uh, extremely proud of them. And you basically, were recently you got to travel to Chicago, so tell us about yes. that. Uh, we participated in the World Strides Heritage Choral Festival, and uh, it's a competition where there's choirs from all over the nation uh, that can attend, and we uh, received second place. Uh, we received a gold rating, uh, which is the highest rating a choir can receive. Uh, Jordan and another one of our students received the Maestro Awards and then we also uh, received the Spirit of Chicago Award mm -hmm. for uh, how our students conducted themselves in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So cool and so Jordan what's it like for you to go to a big city like Chicago and bring your talent there? Right that was really exciting. Um, I think at first it kind of built an, a, enough nervousness at first but one thing that I can say I'm very grateful for Reverend Fry because He's always instilled in us the power of prayer, the power of togetherness, because when you are all over the place and when you don't humble yourself, God says, I can't bless you. But when you're able to sing amongst wonderful singers, a euphonious choir mm -hmm. um, directed by a wonderful man of God, he's a preacher as well, my dad. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just very grateful uh, for this opportunity that God has placed on us. And we've got to hear you sing at graduations, at the um, grand opening of the stadium. Yes. So it, it's kind of neat seeing you do that in, yes. in front of your students and they look yes. like they really look look up to you. Yes, ma'am. And wow. is it an honor to be able to sing to them? It is. It's humbling. Uh -huh. It's humbling. So I'm, I'm very grateful, um, especially for my principal as well. I want to mention her, Carenza Williams. Mm -hmm. uh, she's doing a great job. She's always instilled in us, of, of course, at BC Rain High School, the power of togetherness. So mm -hmm. I'm very grateful um, for her wonderful and integral leadership. And we've gotten to know you as part of the Superintendent's um, Student Advisory Council, where you've gotten to come in for the last couple of years and talk to Mr. Threadgill about, you give your advice on how you yes. think the school should run, right? Yes, ma'am. So, you know, <laughs> I always tell people that 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 job is really a blessing and mm -hmm. you know how much that means to me yeah out of 60,000 students only 24 of us can say that we can go directly to the superintendent to mm -hmm. advocate for our school that we see a, a need in our school system because there is a need mm -hmm. there's so much going on uh, not only in locally but mm -hmm. nationally internationally so it's a blessing when students can come together and talk about these uh, local issues that's facing our school system today yeah and and i love being able to hear your ideas i, I get to experience being a teacher for a few minutes like listening and being proud of the students and um, i know that's one of the favorite parts of his years getting to meet with you guys for mr threadgill so we appreciate all that you've done where are you going after you graduate so i'm going to university of south alabama uh, uh -huh. major in political science a minor in business economics and i plan on going to law school uh, to receive my law degree but ultimately i plan on uh, running for political office, uh, governor of Alabama, and then president of the United States of America. Okay, so you heard it here first. We have president of the United States of America. So, <laughs> Jordan Guyton, thank you, um, Mr. Fry, for all that you've done for all your students. We have to break for commercial, and when we come back, we're going to hear from another fantastic student in Mobile County Public Schools. So stay tuned for Homeroom.
Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today I've been introducing you to some of our outstanding students in Mobile County Public Schools. We have seven National Merit finalists this year, and joining us is Mark Like from Murphy High School, your National Merit finalist, also perfect 36 on your ACT. Yes. How do you do it? Um, a lot of hard work, a lot of studying. Uh, I've spent a lot of time, a lot of time holed up in my room or in our study areas on Murphy's campus. Mm -hmm. uh, working away at study study packets, um, learning on my own time as well. I think I'm a very curious individual. I think that's helped me get those uh, achievements. Yeah, and the hard work. I think that's yes. important for people to hear. You have to work hard to get it. Now, are you part of the UA Early College at Murphy? Yes, I am. So what's that been like, taking those college-level courses? Uh, it's actually, it's been a very good enlighten, uh, enlightening experience almost, mm -hmm. um, seeing how college courses are run, how college professors interact with their students, and how uh, not only is it more rigorous, but there are also support systems to help you through it. So uh, I've been taking two courses every single semester since uh, the second semester of sophomore year. So now I've built up, I think it's around 27 credits. And so it's been a really good experience getting to get college experience while still in a high school environment. Wow, so 27 credits, what's that, like two semesters or three? Almost. Oh, wow. Not quite. Yeah, so I bet your parents like that, that you've already earned that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and where are you going to go um, for college? Uh, I'm going to be attending uh, Webb Institute on Long Island uh, for uh, marine engineering and naval architecture. Oh, cool. So yes. what do you want to do with that? Do you know, or you'll figure that out later? Uh, for the most part, figure that out later, but I'm really interested in um, ship mechanics and uh, cargo ships and then also yacht design. Mm -hmm. So I'll uh, decide which path to go down as I get further into my career there. I'm always impressed with how specific some students are and what they want to do, because yeah. I would never have known that that was a career when I was young. Um, now, we got to meet you recently because you were named a Mobile United yes. Student Leader. So out of all of the students in Mobile County, you were selected for exemplifying that leadership skill. So that was a surprise. We came into yeah. your classroom and probably embarrassed you a little bit. But what was that like to get that award? Uh, it, was, it was really great. Uh, it's, for me, kind of a culmination of achievements uh, that that I'm, that I'm doing the right thing, that I'm helping out my community, uh, furthering a positive culture on Murphy's campus. And uh, I was really honored to receive that award. Mm -hmm. And I think it shows that we at Murphy High School, because it's not just me, it's the people around me that are supporting me, pushing me to become the student I am, the leader I am, mm -hmm. and try to be. So uh, yeah, it was very, uh, I was very happy to receive that award. Yeah, and we were so happy to give it to you because I know that you have the academics going, the test scores going, you're going places in life. You're also a soccer player. Yes. So what's that like? like I don't know how you squeeze all that in, but, but what's it been like playing soccer? Uh, soccer has been one of my favorite experiences. Yeah. I'll, I'll always love the sport. Um, uh, I'm not going to be playing in college because the school I'm going to is very small, but I will be playing rec league and things Intramural, like that. Intramural, yeah. yeah. But we just finished up our senior season. I uh, finished up being captain for my final year. It was a great experience, and um, nothing that nothing could make me happier than leading the team that I've been part of for so long. So as you can see, we have fantastic students throughout all of our Mobile County Public Schools. I'm so happy that I got to introduce you to some of them. And so we have to go, but we'll catch you next time when we'll introduce you to more of our fantastic teachers and students on Homeroom.